what's going on guys matt again with atc here today we have this beautiful 4,000 square foot home here about to insulate this crawl space going to encapsulate it and uh, if you don't know about 60 percent of the air quality that you breathe comes from your crawl space uh, what this is going to help there is uh, this is now going to be a conditioned space that's going to keep your duct work and all that stuff from sweating down inside of there uh, creating mold all that nasty good stuff in there and uh, yes yeah, so overall air quality is going to be better it's going to be more efficient and all that good stuff so uh, yeah check it out see the finished product when we're done Alright guys, another job well done. We just put about an R11 of close cell, two pound close cell on that crawl space right there, encapsulating this bad boy. I know what you guys are thinking, Matt, why is it important to insulate my crawl space? Well guys, it's simply the fact that about 60% of your air is drawn up through your crawl space that you're breathing. So not only does it, for better air quality, uh, you also have, you know, most of the time you're heating an air system and stuff's down there in your crawl space. Uh, temperature changes stuff like that if it's not ventilated good enough it's going to cause uh, moisture problems even with the humidity under there uh, so all that's going to be taken care of now so that that's going to help you out structurally uh, you're also not going to have no mold issues stuff like that uh, and then there a lot of y'all are probably also wondering well can i get my house too tight if i insulate the crawl space uh, you can get your house uh, too tight but that's where your heating and air uh, comes into play obviously your condensing unit and stuff like that is a natural uh, dehumidifier and stuff uh, but you can also use a dehumidifier uh, they have a, a separate setup as well as uh, you're going to want an air exchanger uh, obviously your windows your doors your bath fans stuff like that that is all your weak points guys uh, so basically what that's going to do if you don't have an air exchanger it's going to draw air from all those areas fresh air your house has to breathe somehow with all those things so that's going to basically essentially put your house at a negative pressure uh, which can also cause condensation issues and stuff the whole point of the foam is to stop that outside air. Uh, so talk to your heat and air man. Uh, you're gonna want an air exchanger and what that does essentially is make up for that air that your house needs, especially if you're running a uh, gas furnace, gas water heater, uh, anything gas, gas range, anything that's gonna be drawing air, fireplace. Like I said before, windows and doors are weak points. Also your bath fans guys. So do it the proper way don't skip out on your install especially heating and air insulation most efficient stuff out there if you want good quality low bills and all that air that you're breathing you want good quality air definitely definitely make sure you do a little science and watch spray foam is the best king baby oh. 